All right, so today I wanted to talk about a question that people ask me a fair amount, and it's a question that I see floating around on the internet, and that is, how long does it take to become a software developer? And the answer is that it depends. And so in order to answer this question, I wanted to talk about two things. Number one, the definition of becoming a software developer. And number two, the demonstration of becoming a software developer. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first, let's talk about the definition of becoming a software developer. And within this definition, it really all comes down to the meaning of this one word, and that is the word become. Become is an interesting word in this context because it kind of implies that you get to a certain point at which you're declared a software developer and you're kind of done. You're done learning, you're done progressing, you just are a software developer. And I find that problematic for a couple different reasons. The first problem with this word become is that it's a little bit nebulous, right? Like who's to say at what point you have become a software engineer, at what point you've acquired the skills where today you're a software engineer and yesterday you weren't, right? It just kind of doesn't make sense. But even more than that, my issue with the word become is that you're never done learning. Like there's no point at which you are finished. The reason you can never be finished learning or finished becoming a software developer is that tech and software engineering is changing all the time. There's an ever expanding number of techniques and methodologies and frameworks that are coming out all the time. The way that we do even basic things like building a web page change every two to three years, I would say. And so basically you're never finished. There's always things to learn and nobody can learn it all. So from that perspective, it's a little bit hard to answer what becoming a software engineer means. And that kind of wraps up my issues with the word become in this question. And that brings me to my second point, which is that I suspect when most people are asking this question, they really mean ready to get a job by the word become. So let's talk about that. So this will vary for every person, but I would say at a high level for most people, it'll take either three months of really intensive study or six months of fairly intensive study. You'll need a defined curriculum. And above all, you'll need to be able to prove that you have the skills. And that brings me to my second main point in this video, which is the demonstration of becoming a software engineer. And that is, how do you show that you have the skills? The good thing on this front is that there's a definitive way to show that you've quote unquote become a software developer, and that is through your projects. Basically, everything comes down to projects in my opinion, and projects answer the question of have you become a software developer? Because projects show that you have the skills to build whatever it is that you've built. Projects are the credential in software engineering. The traditional credentials of computer science degrees and all that stuff are mattering less and less. And if you've built projects that show you have the skills to be a software engineer, you are ready to have your first job by definition. And so my advice on this front is just to focus on building projects or acquiring the skills to build those projects in the first place. It's a little bit ironic, but this demonstration of your skills as a software developer kind of render the initial question of what it means to become a software developer irrelevant. Because if you've shown that you have the skills to be a software engineer, then nitpicking the definition and trying to figure out the timetables and all that kind of stuff doesn't matter as much. So my overarching advice on this front is to focus on acquiring skills and then use those skills to build projects and your projects will be the proof that you are ready to do this work. That's it, thanks so much for watching to the end. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider sticking around, but regardless, thanks so much for being here. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>